So you've met somebody and you so in love and you can see yourself spending the rest of your life with them. And they got kids. Five reasons everybody should love and appreciate the step parent. Five. Number one, loving those kids like they're your own. Now, it might sound cliche, but you hear a lot of step parents saying, I love them just like they were my own. I love them like I had them. I love them because I helped raise them. It got to be difficult to wake up and look in the past every single day to know you can envision it. It ain't even a word. It ain't a text message. It ain't a rumor. The reality that is true, that somebody had your lady before you had your lady. Somebody rolled your man before you rolled your man. And that child is living proof that every day, God's will, nothing happened. The rest of your life, you get to be reminded every day of that past relationship, but you still choose, not by force, but by choice. You choose to love that child and honor that child as if that child was your own. Even when you can look dead in that child's face and see the mother or father in that face, you love them like you spit them out. Number two, sometimes the stepchild can be disrespectful. Now, trying to raise a stepchild based on your own morals and your own principles have to be tough sometimes because there's certain ways you were raised that that child ain't getting raised because that child may have a father or mother still present in their life and they're being influenced outside of your home. And that child may come home and say, you ain't my daddy, Josh. I ain't trying to be your daddy. You ain't skinny like my daddy. I know I gained a little weight. You ain't pretty like my daddy. I know I lost a little hair. You don't smell good. Okay, listen, you ain't gonna talk about the way your daddy smell in front of me. Your daddy smell like the back of a floor model TV. I pay $100 for this polo clone. Number three, making the children from both sides feel equally loved. This may be one of the most difficult things to do as a step parent, to make your present child and your stepchild feel like you love them both the same. Because on one hand, you had this child. This child is your flesh and your blood, your bone marrow, your stank breath, and your crooked eye. And on this hand, this child ain't yours, but it's yours because you love the mother. So you want to love the child like it's yours. So when you buy a child this gift, you want to buy the child this gift. And you want to make sure you break bread evenly at the same time. But people might see you out in public and say, he loved this child more than he loved a stepchild. So now you're trying to prove to people that you love stepchild more by bringing your child down and now your child might feel unloved with daddy. You love a stepchild more than me because he ain't sure so you got to prove you love him more. No baby I love you so much more. And now it's a constant balance of who do you care about more. Being a step parent has to be one of the most difficult things on earth. Number four making the stepchild feel comfortable enough to love you like you're their real parent. Now, I see this situation a lot where a person will meet a child and they're the step parent and that child falls in love with them. Now, that child feel like that, that step parent is their biological parent. So now they feel closer to them than with their biological parent. Now, the biological parent can offend it and society is saying, well, that's not your real parent. So now this child is confused because this child feel guilty about falling in love with the step parent because the step parent is raising that child in a way that is so much more joyful and it's, it's constructive and it's understandable. Being a step parent, having to tell that child, I love you so much and I want you to love me so much, but I am not your biological parent. So try to love your biological parent more when you really don't mean it, but you want to be even, you want to be fair, you want to be consistent, and you want to be mature about the situation. It has to be mentally draining. Whew. Number four. And number five, step parents will do everything they can for their stepchild and get no credit and they gotta take it. To every step parent out there that has been with a child for most of that child's life and they've raised this child, they've been with the child on six day, sick days, they've been to football games and soccer practices, they've taught this child how to ride a bike and how to swim, they've taught this child how to study, they've dealt with heartbreak, they held the child when the child got his heart broke when they got in their first fight. And for that child to grow up and look, in they, and look in your face and tell you, I appreciate you, but you really ain't do nothing for me. I know that got to break your heart. I know that got to hurt. And I know you may not understand it. But Josh Prey wants to let you know that I love you. I appreciate you. I feel for you. I am here with you. Not with you, but with you. And I would never, ever, ever overlook everything you've ever done. I appreciate you.